I'm going out for one day in summer. It's hot and it's sweaty. It's quite interesting to see the effect that the uh, heavy rainfalls had. It's cleared out this channel, something that's normally covered with leaves all the way from top to bottom. By looking at the ground underfoot, we can see that there hasn't been any vehicles, horses or people down this track since the rains yesterday morning. We're at a junction of paths. However, on the map, they're shown as junctions of roads. So, treat all your maps with just a little bit of scepticism. You can see a stream coming in, and the water looks very clean, and it's surrounded by lush growth. However, treat all water as suspect, especially below 3,000 feet in the UK, which means most of it. Just because a path is marked on the map, doesn't mean that it's a public footpath. You have to check the symbols on the map and also the way markers as you go along. As you walk along, stop every so often and look back at the path you've come along, especially if you're going to go back the same way. Note some landmarks on your travels. I've just looked in my pocket and realised I haven't got my map. Not a big deal, I know how to get out of here, however, it's a bad sign to lose kit. And if you do, don't waste time, but do go back and see if you can find it. Keep your eyes open, you never know what you might find. Here we've got a molehill in the middle of the footpath. There are molehills everywhere. And if we look around in this field, we can see that it's covered in bracken. There'll be a good reason why this isn't being used for arable or for pasture. Small binoculars are ideal to carry with you. Even better is a binocular. Light and it extends your vision. It's a great aid to map reading. If you're out for just an ordinary day, take time and look at everything. I've just been bitten. My own fault for not putting DEET on as soon as I got off the transport. There are many sunken roads in the UK. Quite often they've been abandoned to nature. And a footpath takes the easiest course along the higher, drier ground. Roads don't need to be sunken to be abandoned. If they're not used, nature will take over. Slowly but surely. So this is another reason to treat your maps with a little bit of scepticism and also use aerial photography if you can. This is an old industrial area. There's plenty of remains. I've just met one of the locals who was able to give me a web address and a load of information. It's always good to gather local knowledge. So get out there, get training, you know it makes sense. It'll serve you well 